Hey everyone, this is Josh from Fresh Start Customs. Coming to you today with uh, free files. Um, wanted to go into discussion about our free files group here. Uh, we've grown past a thousand members. It looks like we're at 1,291 members so far. So there's been a lot of questions about how to convert the AI files into SVG that I have on my free downloads and why I post them as AI. So the reason why I post them as AI files is because um, Facebook has an issue with just flat out plain SVG files and then you have to add like a special text character behind it and erase it and that confuses a lot of people um, and I just don't like the, the, the roundabout way that Facebook does that. So that's my reasoning behind uploading AI files and I, if you read the big announcement as the first thing in the group here um, you'll see there is a converter that I recommend or I have used in the past with no issues but it could potentially shrink the image a little bit so you may want to look out with, for that but let's go ahead and go through this together and um, we'll see uh, I'll show you how to convert it to an SVG file and then at the um, end of the video we're gonna go through um, how to make sure that your image is on the Glowforge screen in order to cut correctly. So this will be a slightly longer video and I know a lot of people want it to go quick but uh, this is going to be a little bit more in depth. So let's go ahead and get started here so we can make it as short as possible. So if, um, essentially you'll click the link below in the comments or the description below. It'll bring you to our free Facebook group here facebook.com slash groups slash FSC free files that's another way you can get there and after you read the rules there um, such as no selling files you can scroll down and see what you want to download so like there's an airplane um, download there's this latest one is the friends um, sign here so I'm gonna just do the latest one here all you gotta do is click the little download button and as you can see it downloaded right here now there's a, three different ways that you can convert this. Um, if you have Adobe Illustrator, obviously it's gonna be the easiest way. You just click on this to open it, right into Adobe Illustrator. Go up to File, and then click Save As. And you're gonna go ahead and click this drop down and change to SVG, just like that. So there's um, that's how you would save it there. You just click Save, and that would save it as an SVG. I'm not going to do that currently, um, but that's all you got to do. Uh, and then essentially you would do the exact same thing for the second way if you have Inkscape. From what I've read online, it looks like you just open this um, file that you downloaded with Inkscape um, and then you save it as an SVG. So there's two different ways you can do it if you have Inkscape or Illustrator. If you don't have either one and you just want to print free files right off the start with a Glowforge because you're brand new and you don't know how to design anything, um, then you have a super easy way to do it too. You can just come here, click download again, and it's going to download to your folder. And I'm going to just click show in folder. And right there are both downloads that we just downloaded. Um, and then if you read the, ins uh, the rules and instructions here, the very first line says if you don't have Illustrator just use this converter click on this little converter website here that'll bring you straight to the website and I already did this earlier so let me go ahead and delete that to remove it and um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna click select files or you can click the drop down to select from different lists if you have it like in Dropbox or wherever you save it at but what I'm gonna do is select from my computer and I'm gonna just do the, the most recent one here. You select the AI file and choose open. And then what you gotta do is select what you wanna convert this into. And you can do this with um, anything other than AI too. So let's say you have, um, I think they're called a DFX file. I believe that's, yeah, right here. Or DX, yeah, DXF. Um, so let's say you, you had a DXF file, you can convert those into SVG too. So what you wanna do is go down to vector here and choose SVG. Um, so essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna be converting this AI into an SVG file. And then all you gotta do is click start, conver start conversion. 
and you'll see it's uploading and converting now. And then once it's done converting here, all you got to do is click download. And there you go, it downloaded right down here. We're going to go ahead and open that. And now it's in an SVG format, so you can actually use this with the Glowforge here. So that's pretty much how you guys can use my free files, um, make it a little bit easier for you guys, um, and hopefully cut down on questions or repetitive answers there. And let's go ahead on to the last part here. Um, looks like we might be able to get this video done sooner than what I thought. Um, the last part is going to be uploading those files. I know I did a video earlier on how to upload. You can check that out um, in our channel. Um, but essentially you're going to upload that same SVG file. That's this one here that we just converted into an SVG. We're going to open that. And then it's going to say you're processing your design here. So we're going to wait for it to open here. Okay, so let's see here. Now, this looks like it has a clipping path issue, um, and that might be something with the conversion. It might not be. Um, I really don't deal with clipping paths too often, but essentially what we're gonna do is, as you can see, this is your um, the area you're gonna be engraving on, and I'm just gonna select a random uh, material here and um, as you can see the last cut here has been the calibration for the machine so that's why it shows up that image um, but as you can see you see everything is highlighted here when I go over the image um, it, everything highlights into blue what is what it's going to engrave now I have had some people have issues where there's a design let's say with six of these images um, I'll just control copy and control paste here so we can just get a visual so let's say you have a design, and I'm just going to use two of these because they're, they're really big, like this, and you import it into the Glowforge. And let's say it imports in like this right here. So on paper, or on screen in this case, this looks pretty good. You want to save material. But as you can see, this does not highlight. It's all grayed out. You see how it's all grayed out there? And then this one highlights. Um, if you push print, after you have all your settings correct it's only gonna print and cut this out here and just to, so we can get this verified uh, correctly this inside line is gonna be a score just so you guys know um, so essentially this is going to engrave this entire image in the center and then it's gonna score this inside line as you can see I'm hovering over score you see how it highlights in blue over here just the score line and then the cut line highlights in blue and then you notice that nothing highlights over here well that's because you're too far off the edge of the screen and sometimes even if you're on the screen like all the way like this if this is a rasterized image and it overlays the um, cut line here and goes past this point it still will cancel out that engrave it'll still do the cut because the cuts in in the the line path but it won't do the engrave so that's something I wanted to point out because I noticed a lot of people have been having issues with that as well um, and had questions about that. So I hope this video helps you guys out here. I hope that explained it pretty in depth and as quickly as possible and to the point. Um, if you guys have any other questions, let me know. Um, you can go back to our uh, free page here and just click send message right here. That's the best way to get a hold of me. Um, and I can try and answer a question um, if possible there, and we'll go from there. So it was fun talking with you guys. Have a great day.